Hey Canucks fans, the Vancouver Canucks pummeled the Arizona Coyotes 5-1 in Louis Erickson's return to Rogers Arena. Let's talk about what I liked, what I didn't like, and one other thing. I am Canuck Clay, and this is my Canucks take all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary, my post-game recap for Tuesday, February the 8th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. What a game. I wasn't there. I was at the hospital visiting my lovely wife, Gail. More on that later. But what I liked, well, I like the fact that Gail is okay, but I'll save that for another thing. What I liked, I like the fact that I correctly predicted the score and the first Canucks goal score. It's very rare that I get even one of those, but to get both, I feel like a million bucks. So yes, I predicted 5-1 to one for Vancouver, and I did predict that Connor Garland would score the first goal, which he did on a beautiful pass from Noah Juleson. I think that was Noah Juleson's first point too as a Vancouver Canuck. So I like that too. Let's talk about the offense. I liked who scored. Garland, Miller, Pedersen, Horvat, and Besser. Probably your five best forwards. The five guys that you want to score. So I like who scored for the Canucks. The guys that you need to score. And we keep talking about your best players need to be your best players. That the offensive guys need to put in more offense. And they certainly did that tonight. So I liked who scored. I liked how they scored. They scored on the power play twice. They scored, they went two for three on the power play. So that was good. And they also went four for four on the penalty kill, which is awesome. So 100% penalty kill, 67% power play. That's a CCSCS. Clay's cue to the special team stat of 167%. Obviously, that's very good when you can kill off all the, the penalties that you, you take. And all the power plays, I should say. And when you can score on at least one, if not two, which the Canucks did, then you know you have a really good chance to win. And that's what the Canucks did. So I, I liked how they scored, uh, not only going two for three on the power play, but in exploding in that second period for three goals in a span of two minutes and 22 seconds. So I liked who scored. I liked how they scored. So... All, all saying that the offense, all to say that the offense was really, really good tonight. What else did I like? Well, how about, speaking of offense, how about Oliver ekman Larson? Three assists. And is it a coincidence that it happens in the game that Quinn Hughes doesn't play? And therefore, ekman Larson has to take a lion's share of not only the minutes. Actually, not bad. He only played 22 minutes. Actually, I'll get to that in a second. But he was on the first power play unit, and therefore two of his assists came, two of his assists. Uh, two of his assists came on the power play. Um, so really, really uh, great showing offensively by Ekman Larson and defensively too, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, three assists for Ekman Larson. He basically, he, he increases his, his point total by 33% on the season. He shoots up from nine points to 12 points in the span of one game. And maybe all it takes is for him to play against his former team. So I like Ekman Larson with the three assists. Noah Juleson with not just one assist, but two assists on the back end. And like I said, the guys that should score, Besser, Garland, Miller, Pedersen, and Horvat did indeed score. How about JT Miller's goal? End to end. This is the second time he's done he's done it this year. I think it was against an, uh, a power play, uh, I mean, an opposing team's penalty kill as well. But he takes the puck from Ekman Larson behind his own net. And basically, he didn't weave through all four guys, but none of those four guys even tr remotely tried to stop him. And it was a really, really nice goal. It wasn't Connor McDavid type material, but it was certainly a nice goal. And like I said, it's the second time that JT Miller has done that this season. Also, got to give props to Thatcher Demko, stopping 35 of 36 shots. Obviously, that is very strong. Only one goal beats him the entire game. That's by Lawson Kraus in, in, you know, in the um, tail, no, with about seven minutes left in the third period, uh, in the second period. So Demko, an outstanding, outstanding game. Um, I still think you go to Halak tomorrow just to rest Demko up for, especially his back-to-back, -back. Yeah, although it's at home, but there's no need, there's no need to, uh, you don't have to play him tomorrow. Halak's been playing just fine. And speaking of Lawson Kraus, I like Kyle Burroughs standing up to Lawson Kraus in that fight near the end of the game. Burroughs giving up four inches in height, uh, over 20 pounds in weight, hanging in there. Yes, Kraus definitely won the fight, but Burroughs, you know, getting the crowd fired up, maybe hometown guy, whatever, 
but just that or maybe in a good mood because they're up 4-1 or 5-1 at that point. So uh, a, a feisty effort by by Kyle Burrell's in a, a losing effort in that fight. Another thing I liked, I joked around that I was worried that OEL Myers would have to play 28, 29 minutes given the, the shape of our defense. But check this out. Myers played 26, OEL played 22, but then you had Luke Shen playing 20, Juleson playing 18 and a half, Hunt playing 18, and Burrell's playing 15. So no, no guy played less than 14, 49. That was Kyle Burrell's. And no guy played more than 26 minutes, and that was Tyler Myers. So everyone was in basically between 15 and 26. Yeah, that's still the 11-minute um, discrepancy. I get that. But it's not like it was 28 or 29 minutes and, and 12 or 13 minutes. So overall, and I get it. Let's temper everything I just said with the fact that we're playing against the Arizona Coyotes. I get that. I really get that. They have a few decent players, but they have a lot of not so good players. So I, I get we're not be- we weren't beating the Tampa Bay Lightning or the Florida Panthers or the Carolina Hurricanes. I get that, but still a solid victory for the Canucks coming out of their All Star break and getting back in the win column, going up one game over 500, and now they have 48 points in 47 games. They still have to go about 22, 11, and two, but it's not like it's 23. 11 and 2 anymore. So uh, they get one game closer to that 94, one win closer to that 94 point mark that I've set as the playoff bar. Okay, so many things to like about tonight's game. The only thing I didn't like, if I had to pick something, I'm not going to fault Demko on one goal. The only thing I didn't like was maybe the start to the game where they're actually uh, playing against a, a much inferior team at home, yet they were outshot 15 to 7. Now, they it, it wasn't like they were outplayed 2 to 1, but they were outshot 2 to 1 in the first period. So uh, maybe that's the only thing I didn't like. That means uh, Arizona wins a shot battle 36 to 29 overall, but it doesn't matter when you're scoring on, a, on five of those 29 shots. But maybe a bit of a slow start for the Canucks, but that's the only thing that I'm really going to nitpick about this game. Overall, a great win, and it's a, it's, a win that, it's a game that you should win, especially if you still have aspirations of being a playoff team. One other thing, well, I want to tell you that uh, my lovely wife, Gail, is such a fighter, such a warrior. Um, m- many of you have seen the post. She did well. Um, I won't go over all the details, but in essence, the doctors removed um, her ovaries, a cyst, uh, tangled. O- one of the ovaries was tangled, putting pressure on one of her bowels. They found early stages of cancer in that ovaries lining. So the good news is that they found it early. Thank goodness. Initial prognosis is that the cancer hasn't spread to the rest of Gail's body, thank goodness. But they also did take some tissue samples that they're going to do biopsy on to make sure that the cancer hasn't spread. But all in all, it, it's a it's a positive thing. The fact that uh, that although they did identify early cancer, that there's a good chance that they have they got it all out already. So I'm I'm thankful for the surgeons, the nurses, everyone that took care of Gail. I spent some good time with her. I can't stay overnight, so that's why I'm home vlogging now. I'll go back there in the morning. But overall, uh, very grateful for all of you for your prayers, your well wishes, your your thoughts, your messages, your posts, your comments, everything um, where you've reached out to me, whether on YouTube or on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I appreciate you, and I do not take you for granted. So um, I'll update you guys again tomorrow. And hopefully uh, I don't get any calls in the middle of the night tonight. I can I can get up, work out, and then make my way to see Gail at the hospital tomorrow. So there we go. What I liked, all those things, especially about the Canucks offense, including from their defenseman. What I didn't like, a slow start. One other thing, um, Gail looks like she's uh, on the road to recovery and the prognosis looks good overall. Canucks fans, I'm in a good mood. I'm home now. I'm with my kids. Going to take care of them. Going to study a bit go to bed, and then get up, work out, and back to the hospital. But in the meantime, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and one other thing. Leave in the comments below. I love to read, react, and reply as always. Shout out to my sponsors, Perform and Transform, and Van City Experts Real Estate Group, and to all my, mem- all my members. I mentioned them all in my morning vlog earlier today, but thank you, thank you to all members. I appreciate you. I do not take you for granted as always subscribe if you'd like to like this video if you like to become a member or upgrade if you'd like to leave a comment down below if you'd like to what'd you like what didn't you like and tell me one other thing tomorrow i will preview the canucks islanders game that's a later start tomorrow night at 7 30 lastly parker i hope you enjoyed the game you're in my seats thank you for buying the tickets and i'm glad you enjoyed it despite not seeing quinn hughes and then i also know that my brother and one of his uh, sons were at the game tonight as well so very cool great night overall My friends, stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves and take care of each other and make sure you hold your loved ones a little bit tighter tonight. God bless and go Canucks go.